Welcome to ABC Interactive English. Hello, everyone. I'm Karen, and I'm Mike. And welcome to the first of our two dialogues for this month, Part A, which we will be reading along with you guys. Today is called My Family,、Aww. not My Family, just families in general. And of course, when you're meeting people, making friends, and learning more about them. Talking about them and their families is a really good way to get to know them better. So、mm. tell me about your family. Do you have a family? I do yes, have a family. Right. Mom, dad, and a sister. One sister is Just you. Just one sister. Do you have an older or younger sister? Older. An older sister. That's very,、right. very good. And she's only eleven months older than wow. me. Wow. I also have one sister. She、mm. is also older than me, but two years older than me. So、mm. a little bit different.、Mm. Are you guys very close?、Mm. Not super close. I mean, I love my sister very much, of course, but we don't talk all the time or、mm. anything like that. We have a lot of. Different interests and different hobbies, but when we get together, we always have a really good time. What does your sister do, by the way? Well, she is an accountant. An accountant. Yeah, and like、mm. you, you know, we are very, very different people.、Okay. But when we do get together,、uh-huh. we have a good time. But sometimes we still fight. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> well, that makes you feel young again, just like when you were kids. Yes, That's right. It's one of those things we say that you can choose. Choose your friends,、mm-hmm. but you can't choose your family. But of course, you can still be friendly with your family, still love them a lot. So、mm. that's pretty interesting. Have you seen your family? Do they live here or do they live in Canada? No, she still lives in Canada. All of your family still lives there. That、okay. is right. And I know you're going to be going to see them soon. That's right. I'm very excited. That will be fun.、Mm. I'm sure there'll be a lot to catch up on. Yeah. Also, with me, when I see my mom and my sister, even if I haven't seen them in a year, maybe two years, or even with COVID, it was three or four years.、Mm. When you get back together with your family. It's like no、Nothing、time has, has passed.、Changed. Nothing has changed, and you pick up having fun and telling stories, or fighting and arguing <laughs> sometimes, the way you used to. So let's find out about my family in our dialogue when we're going to meet Peter and Wendy,、mm. and we'll find out about their families. Sounds good. Peter and Wendy are talking about their families. How many people are there in your family? There are five people in my family. They are my parents, brother, sister, and me. How about you? There are five people in my family too. However, I don't have any sisters. All right. So yes, the title of the dialogue is "My Family." And as we read there, Peter and Wendy are talking about their families. So、mm-hmm. we know Peter and Wendy are not in the same family. They are not brother and sister. They have different families, and they are talking and telling each other about them. We're using this word a lot. We might want to explain to people what the word family means. Okay, well, a family that is a noun. Basically, it means a group of people who are related to each other, such as a mother, a father, and their children. And sometimes with your grandparents、sure. too, grandpa, grandma, your uncle, your aunts. So, for example, you can say, "I come from a large family. I have about." Over twenty cousins. <laughs> Whoa, that is a large family. My mom's got like eight brothers and sisters. Wow, do they all live in Canada, or do the, some of them live here in Taiwan, or they in live in、places? different places、all、in the world? Over the world, that's、mm. pretty neat. Do you have to buy Christmas or birthday presents for all of your cousins? Uh, no, because、okay, it's kind、good. of impossible. You would be very poor. <laughs> That many cousins. All right, so let's get to a basic question and the beginning of our dialogue. This is something you might use when you want to talk about families.、Uh, so Peter begins. He says, "How many people are there in your family?" And I believe we use the same question ourselves. So, how many people 
are there in your family? Here we're not looking for your grandparents and aunts and uncles and your thirty-five hundred cousins or whatever. We usually mean your close family, the family that you lived with as a child.、Mm、hmm. Well, for me, there are four people in my family,、okay. and how about you?、Uh, four people, including me. Ah,、uh -huh, yeah. that's right. Okay, but Wendy says there are five people in my family.、Okay. They are my parents. Mom, Dad. Brother,、mm -hmm. sister, and me.、Wendy. How about you? All right, so there you go. That's a good way of explaining it, right? You include yourself in the number.、Mm -hmm. So I would say mother, father, my sister, and me. That's four people. Peter has a very similar thing. Well, a similar number. He says there are five people in my family too, or my family as well. Also five people. However, but. I don't have any sisters.、Ah. Interesting. So Peter doesn't have any sisters. No girls the same age or around the same. So I guess it would be mother, father, parents.、Mm -hmm. That's your parents and three boys. That's right. That would be a little bit crazy in your home, right? Quite smelly. <laughs>、yeah. And his mom probably had to buy a lot of food when they were teenagers. You are absolutely right.、Mm, all right. Well, Wendy's family sounds a little more peaceful. But let's take a break, and then we'll be back to find out more about their very interesting families. All right. What do you usually do with your family on the weekend? We usually go to a park near our house. That's nice. My family doesn't do many things together. Really? Why? My parents are usually busy. Also, my brother, sister, and I like different things. Welcome back. So Wendy and Peter, the two characters in our dialogue, are chatting about their different families. They both have the same number of people in their family, right? Five, including、mm -hmm. them, including Wendy or Peter. But Peter has two brothers,、mm -hmm. so three boys in his family, along with his parents, mother and father. Wendy had five people in her family. But she had one brother and one sister. That is、right. right. Yeah, we also use that word parents. We should explain parents are the two people, usually a mother and a father, who raised you as a child. Right. So you might have one parent. You might have had two parents at some time, and one now, or something like that. But when we talk about your mom and your dad, or your mom and your mom and your dad and your dad, as a group. We use this word "parents" in the same way. Your、right. grandmother, grandfather would be your grandparents.、Mm. Those two people that sort of worked as a team to make a family. Exactly.、Mm. And now they continue their、yes. dialogue. Now Wendy says, "What do you usually do with your family on the weekend?" And that is a perfect question to ask if you want to understand more about someone. You can understand, you know, what their interests are,、mm -hmm. where they like to go. So, what do you usually do with your family on the weekend, Mike? Okay. Well, I won't answer for me. I'll answer for Peter. Peter says we usually go to a park near our house.、Oh. Okay, so I would say that Peter's family is quite an active family. They like to go out and do stuff. Maybe exercise at the park, have picnics. They're not all sitting at home reading comic books or watching TV or playing video games.、Mm -hmm. They usually go to a park near their house. And this adverb usually is very very useful for something you. Do quite a lot. You do it quite often. It's not always. Always would be a hundred percent of the time.、Mm -hmm. You should always brush your teeth before you go to bed, for example. But if it's something you do eighty, ninety percent of the time, most of the time, then usually it would be the perfect adverb for that. It's、mm -hmm. good to、uh, say something like, "I usually exercise after work or school," but you know. Some days I'm busy. Some days I'm tired. But most of the time, or usually, is something you do almost all of the time, but not quite. <laughs> 
That is right. And now we're also looking at this word here, weekend. I love the weekend. Wendy, as what you usually do on the weekend, right? Me too. I love the weekend too. So, what does it mean? Basically, it just means Saturday and Sunday. Because if you're looking at this word here, week, we know week, right? Monday to Sunday. Now, if you're looking at this week, week. End basically means the end of the week,、mm -hmm. right? The last two days, Saturday and Sunday.、That's、so,、right. for example, we could say we're going to see some friends next weekend. Ah, okay. And in the same way that parents means your mother and father, weekend means Saturday and Sunday. Days you usually don't go to school or go to work. You can go out and have fun. That's why most people like the weekend. All right, and they also talked about going to the park near their house. Near is a very useful preposition to talk about where something is. If something is not too far from you, then it is near. You could also say nearby or close. Or something like that. Now, of course, it depends what you're talking about. I might say, you know, where I live, there is a Seven Eleven near my house. I think that's true for anywhere in Taiwan, really. <laughs> or maybe a few Seven Elevens. A few Seven Elevens near my house. I could also say something like Hong Kong is very near to Taiwan,、oh, which、right. is also kind of true. But if I'm looking at space, well, the moon is near the Earth,、mm. but Jupiter is far away. So it all depends on where you're talking and how far you're talking. But if in that world, that area, it's not far. Then you can say it is near.、Mm -hmm. And now Wendy says that's nice.、Yeah. My family doesn't do many things together. So they're not going to the park、oh. all the time. Then maybe they do things separately,、mm -hmm. right?、Yeah. So we're looking at this word here, together, and that is an adverb. So it just means when two or more people or things that are with each other. So for example, you could say we enjoy. Spending time together, maybe going to the movies together at the same time, going to the restaurant. But I guess Wendy's family they don't like to do many things together. Yeah, you won't see them going as a group to、mm. the park, for example, on the weekend. And of course, Peter's family they do lots of things together. They spend lots of time together. So. He's a little surprised、mm -hmm. or confused by Wendy's family. They don't do things together.、Mm -hmm. He wants to know why. So he says, "Really? Why?" And now Wendy answers, "My parents are usually busy."、Ah. Remember, we said usually means basically almost most of the time,、mm -hmm. right? So my parents are usually busy. They probably don't have a lot of time.、Right. Also, my brother. Sister and I like different things. Okay, I guess that makes a lot of sense. If your parents are busy, maybe they're always working,、sure. and by the time they get home, maybe it's very late. And as for her siblings, which means her brothers or sisters, they like different things. Maybe the brother likes to watch movies, and the sister likes to go shopping. So they can't really exactly enjoy doing a lot of things. Together, exactly right. It sounds like they have different hobbies, that is right. and we will be talking about hobbies, things you like to do in your free time or on the weekend tomorrow. So please come back and join us for that. But until then, take care, everyone. Your homework is to find someone in your family and give them a big hug. That's your homework, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Take care. See you next time. Bye bye. Peter and Wendy are talking about their families. How many people are there in your family? There are five people in my family. They are my parents, brother, sister, and me. How about you? There are five people in my family too. However, I don't have any sisters. What do you usually do with your family on the weekend? We usually go to a park near our house. That's nice. My family doesn't do many things together. Really? Why? 
My parents are usually busy. Also, my brother, sister, and I like different things. Hi, I'm Tina. 我们来看这一课的重点单词。第一个 ，usually, usually， 副词，通常。Queenie usually gets up at seven o'clock. Queenie 通常七点钟起床。下一个单词 ，weekend, weekend， 名词，周末。I went to a concert last weekend. 上周末我去了一场演唱会。下一个单词 ，near, near。介系词靠近、接近。The school is near a hospital. 那间学校靠近一间医院。最后一个单词 together, together， 副词，一起、共同。Do you want to go fishing together? 你想要一起去钓鱼吗？接着我们来看重点文法。第一个 talk about， 谈论。Talk 是一个不及物动词，它的后面可以加上 about。在接谈论的内容，我们来看看这个例句。My friends are talking about a movie. 我朋友们正在讨论一部电影。下一个文法 ，How many 加名词加上 are there， 有多少什么东西 ？How many 用来询问可数名词的数量，答句直接用 there are 来接数量回答就可以了。我们来看看这个对话。How many cats are there in the park? 公园里有几只猫 There are more than ten. 超过十只。最后一个文法 How about you? 那你呢？这是一个口语用法。我们来看看这个对话 I like skiing. How about you? 我喜欢滑雪。你呢 ？I like swimming. 我喜欢游泳。以上就是这一课的重点单词跟文法。我们下一课再见。拜拜。That my coffee be hot, but this is only lukewarm. I thought you brewed your coffee until it's 85 degrees. When I measured it with my smart. Wow, Lucy is definitely making a huge scene about her coffee not being hot enough. Yeah, she's such a drama queen. Drama queen? Don't think she's acting. <laughs> no, but she's definitely overreacting. That's what drama queens、fix. do. I have a verified check mark on my social media accounts, <laughs> and you are so gonna get a one-star review from me. Hey everyone! Today we're talking about the term drama queen. Yes, a drama queen is a person who often reacts to situations in a dramatic or exaggerated manner. Exactly. This person often makes a big deal out of minor things and craves attention. Like our friend Lucy in the coffee shop, she was definitely acting like a drama queen. Right. She was overreacting to a situation that wasn't a big deal, and she wanted everyone to pay attention to her. Here's an example sentence. She's such a drama queen, always making a big fuss out of small issues. And another one. Don't be such a drama queen. It's not that serious. So remember, folks, not everything needs to be a drama. Keep it cool. That's all for today. See you next time. Bye. Bye. -bye.